guys welcome back to my channel in this video I showed you guys how to create this makeup look and it's a New Year's Eve glam kind of look if you're going out to like a fancy party or any party at all and you just want to be a bit extra or whatever and I've just got like gold glitter on my eyes and nude lips and by the way this jacket is fake fur it's not real um, but yeah, I really hope you guys like this makeup look and enjoy this video And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel As always, all the brushes and products I use will be listed down below in the description box So thank you so much and let's get started Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick up my Too Faced Born This Way concealer And I'll just be priming my eyelids with this Now I'm just going in with my Morphe E15 brush and my bronze cut shadow palette and I'll just be picking up this shade called Jasper and I'll just be applying it on my eyelids just to set the concealer. Okay, so for this eye look, I really want to do like gold glitter on the lid and do like a really smoky eye with like black eyeshadow on the outer corners. So for today's eye look, I'm basically mostly just going to be using my Morphe 35F palette just because it's got some really nice shades here that I can use to help smoke out the eye look. And I've got some really nice like gold shimmer shades on here that I might use on my lid underneath the gold glitter. And I'll just be picking up this shade here and applying it as my transition shade. So into my crease and blending it upwards towards my brow bone. And I'm just using my Zoeva 224 brush. So now I'll be going in with this third last shade here and I'll be using my Morphe E23 brush and I'll just be applying this shade into my crease. And now with the same shade I'm just going in with my Morphe M441 brush and applying it into my crease again. And now I'll be going in with this shade here, which is the second last shade in the palette. I'm just going to be applying that in my crease as well, just to deepen up the eye look. And I'll be using the Morphe N433 brush. But I'll be trying to focus most of the product on the outer half of the crease. And now I'll be using my Glitter 224 brush, just to blend out all the shades. And blending is really key, because you want to make sure that there is no harsh lines. So I just wet my detail shadow brush by Zoeva with a bit of MAC Fix Plus and now I'm just going to be going in with this gold shadow here and just applying it on the inner half of my lid. And now because I don't have any glitter primer or any glitter glue, I'm just going to be using the duo eyelash glue and I'm just applying it on the back of my hand and then picking it up with my finger and then just tapping it on my eyelid. And this will just prepare us for the glitter. But you don't want to put too much on because you don't want it to get all gunky and, and dry white. So be careful with how much you apply. And I'm just going to do one eye at a time and I'll be going in with the glitter eyeshadow by Eye Candy. I just got this from the Morphe website and it's in the shade Candy Coin and it's a super fine eye glitter. So now back in with my crease brush, the Morphe M441, I'm just going to be blending out my crease. And I'll be picking up a tiny bit of the shade I used in my crease. And now the pencil brush and this shade here, I'm just going to be applying it on the outer half of my lid again. And then when it meets with the glitter, I'm just going to be packing in that section just so it blends in seamlessly. And now I'll just be going in with the black eyeshadow in this palette and I'll just be applying it on the outer corner as well but I won't be going as much in onto my lid as I did with that shade I just applied if that makes sense. So just before I continue I'm just going to wipe away the glitter from underneath my eyes because there was a lot of fallout. But I'll be cleaning up the edge of my eye a bit later. Okay, so now back in with my Morphe M441 brush, I'm just going to be blending out the harsh black line. Now I'm just going to switch up to my Morphe E23 brush just to blend it out even more. 
And I'll just be going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper and just lining my eyes and doing a wing. Okay, so now going back in with the black eyeshadow and my 230 Zoeva brush, I'm just going to be applying it on the outer corners of my eye. And now with my Morphe M433 brush and the second darkest matte shade, I'm just going to be applying it into my crease and also be using it to help blend out the black shadow. And now I'm just blending out all of the shadows with my Morphe M441 brush. And now with my makeup remover, I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eyes and clean up any fallout. Okay, so now I'm just going to be moving on to my face and I'll be using my Myra Bidesco Rose Water Spray and just spraying it all over my face. So I'm just going to get in with my Smashbox Better Finish Foundation Primer and just apply it all over my face. I'm also just going to apply a bit of my Baby Lips Lip Balm. Okay, so now I'll be going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 3.75 and I'll just be applying it with my Black Dampy Beauty Blender all over my face. And the reason why I'm using this foundation is because if you want your makeup to last all night long and be full coverage, then this is a really great foundation to do that. So now I'll be going in with my Too Faced Blondie Suede Concealer again in the shade Very Fair and I'll just be applying it underneath my eyes in a triangular shape and on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, above my lips, on my chin and on my forehead as well. And now with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L1, I'm just going to dot some of it underneath my eye, on the bridge of my nose, above my lip and a bit on my forehead as well. And because this is a really light concealer, it's just going to help brighten up those areas. And now I'm just going to blend it out with my Black Damp Beauty Blender. And now with my Pink Dampy Beauty Blender, I'm just going to be using my RCMA Original No Colour Powder and just bake underneath my eyes, on the sides of my nose and on the bridge of my nose as well. So while that's baking, I'm just going to be going in with my Bare Minerals Original SP15 uh, Loose Powder in the shade Fair and I'm just going to set the rest of my face using my Powder Brush Rise Weaver. And I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette to pick up the shade Medium Cocoa and just contour my nose using the Morphe M139 brush. And I'm just going to dust away the bake. And I'm just going to lightly blend out that contour. And now with the same contour shade, I'm just going to be using my Morphe M177 brush and just be contouring underneath my cheekbones, around my forehead and underneath my jawline as well. And now using the same brush, I'm just going to be going in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and bronzing up my face in the same areas. And I'm just going to use my powder brush just to help blend out everything. 
And to give me a more structured contour, I'm just going to bake underneath the contour there, just along my jawline. So now that I've let that bake sit there for a couple of minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, so now for highlight. So there's like two highlighters that I want to use, but they're more like silver toned rather than gold. And to make the like makeup look tying together and just overall look a bit better because I do have the gold on the eyes, I'm going to be going in with a more gold toned highlight. So I'll be using my Becca Jaclyn Hill highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. And I'll just be using my Morphe M501 brush sprayed with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to make the highlight a bit more intense. And I'm also going to be spraying a bit of the Fix Plus on one side of my face and then on the other side of my face before I do that highlight that makes sense. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of it on my chin and also on my forehead just to give us a more of a glowy and dewy look. And now with my ring figure, I'm just going to apply a little bit of it on my nose and also above my lid as well. And now for blush, I'm going back in with the Jaclyn Hill Banker palette and I'll be picking up the shade Amaretta which is just a blush in the middle and applying it on my cheeks. And now I'm going back in with the Morphe 35F eyeshadow palette. So firstly I'll be going in with this shade here and applying it along my lower lash line. And I'll just be using my Zawinga Smudge Brush. So I'm just going to pick up a bit of the black shadow and apply it on the outer lower lash line. And I'm just going to be picking up this shade here and smudging it along my lower lash line and smoking it out. And I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of this shadow here and apply it on my brow bone. And now back in with my Kylie Cosmetics Kai Shadow Bronze Palette. I'm just going to pick up the shade Jasper and apply it on my brow bones as well. And now just blending out that line with my Zoeva 224 brush. And now with my black Kai liner, I'm just going to line my waterline. So I'm just going to set my whole face with my MAC Fix Plus. And now for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm just going to be mixing this colour here and this one here that we used on our lids. And now to prep for the falsies, I'm just going to curl my top lashes. And now I'm just going to be applying my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara on my top lashes only for now. And now just off camera, I'm going to be applying my Lily Lashes in the style Luxe. And I really like these lashes for this eye look just because they're really pretty and they get more thicker on the outer half. So I feel like it will intensify the outer corner even more with the like black eyeshadow and all. And also I'm going to be using my House of Lashes eyelash glue. So now I'm just going to conceal the false lash line using my liquid eyeliner again. And now I'm just going to apply my mascara on my bottom lashes as well. So now I've just got some glue on and my fake fur jacket. And now it's time to do the lips. And I was actually unsure out of these two lipstick options which one to go for because there's the nude, which is the Kylie Lip Kit in Dolce K, or there's the red, which is the Kylie Lip Kit in Mary Jo K. But I think I'm gonna go more for the nude just because I did a red lip in my last tutorial and I feel like I should just stick with the nude. But you can definitely go for the red as well if you like, it's totally up to you. And look how small my Dolce K liner is. I've literally used this so much, so yeah, I'm just going to go in with my color lip kit in the shade Dolce K. So I'm just going to line my lips first and then fill them in with my liquid lipstick. Okay, so that concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and liked this makeup look. I did a bit more of a dramatic eye than what I usually do. And yeah, if you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!